Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from Revival today for April the 13th, and this is April 13th, 1902. Just say no. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. And that's Proverbs 1, 10. We fail to understand how dangerous sin can be. We think that a little sin will not hurt us. But there is no such thing as a little sin. For there is a uh, little sin is that it doesn't stay little long. It grows and matures until it is too big to control. How much better, as Solomon advises his son, if sin knocks at your door, don't answer it. A New York Times journalist couldn't believe his eyes as he watched T. DeWitt Talmadge preach one evening. He would describe his experience as Talmadge, after Talmadge's death in 1902. One Sunday morning, when the time came for him to deliver his sermon, he walked to the extreme edge on one side of his 50-foot platform, faced about, then suddenly started as fast as he could run for the opposite side. Just as everybody in the congregation, breathless, expected to see him pitch headlong from the further side of the platform, he leaped suddenly in the air and came down with a crash, shouting, young man, you are rushing towards a precipice. And then he delivered a moving sermon upon the temptations and sins of youth in a big city. Are you running toward destruction of your life today on the path of sin? Stop. Repent. Turn around. It's not too late. It's not too hard. There hath no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but with the temptation also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear it. And that is 1 Corinthians 10, 13. There is no sin that God cannot forgive and deliver you from. There is no cry of confession to God that will go unheeded. Stop denying. Stop hiding. Come clean. The only way to cover your sin is to confess it. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. And that is Proverbs 28, 13. So, to confess it and forsake it. Of course, that's what this song talks about today. I had somebody in a facility asked me to sing this uh, just a couple weeks ago up in Marietta. So I've tried to uh, get through it again. I'm sure I've done it before, but we'll give it another shot here. The song talks about a man who has done just that. He has confessed and forsaken his sins. They baptized Jesse Taylor in Cedar Creek last Sunday. Jesus gained a soul and Satan lost a good bright arm. They all cried hallelujah when Jesse's head went under. But this time he went under for the Lord. Among the local taverns there'll be a slack in business. Cause Jesse's drinking came before the groceries and the rent. Among the local women, there'll be a lot less cheap. Cause Jesse won't be stepping out again. They baptized Jesse Taylor in Cedar Creek last Sunday. Jesus gained a soul and Satan lost a good bright arm. They all cried hallelujah when Jesse's head went under, but this time he went under for the Lord. Now the scars on Jesse's knuckles are more to be respected. The county courthouse records tell all there is to tell. 
scars on Jesse's knuckles are more to be respected, and the black eye of the law will soon be well. They baptized Jesse Taylor in Cedar Creek last Sunday. Jesus gained a soul, and Satan lost a good bright arm. They all cried hallelujah when Jesse's head went under. But this time he went under for the Lord. From now on, Nancy Taylor can proudly speak with neighbors and tell them just how Jesse took up with little Jim. Now Jimmy's got a daddy and Jesse's got a family. And Franklin County's got a lot more men. They baptized Jesse Taylor in Cedar Creek last Sunday. Jesus gained a soul and Satan lost a good bright arm. They all cried hallelujah when Jesse's head went under. But this time he went under for the Lord. Yes, this time he went under for the Lord. Lord, I thank you for the change that you can make. Now, I know there are a lot of things that, uh, that we can do to try to change ourselves or better ourselves, but we can never save ourselves. And God, I know that you not only can, but you're willing to do that. You're willing to put anyone that's listening to this today who is on the wrong path, you're willing to put them on the right path. And God, I pray that you would bless them and help them to have their eyes open to the fact that they need a Savior. For those of us who have seen that and who have asked for forgiveness, God, we're thankful that you're still saving today. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great day. See you Friday.